Good day, welcome to Unboxing and Destroying with Cassie. So, um, I recently won a contest on the Disco Elysium Facebook page. It's not so much a contest, it was like comment and win. Um, it's a displate uh, from the Disco Elysium uh, franchise. I was selected after I uh, chose my favorite character, and they asked me what um, disc plate I would like, which is like it's like a metal art piece um, with concept art from the game is what I chose. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. Um, okay. Who says a small poster can't start a big collection? This is my first one of these. I've never bought them before. Um, cool. Four creators. Like, they have a lot of official art on the display site. I guess I got a bunch of stickers. Um, cool. Alright. I didn't, I didn't, I never really, even, like, considered this before because like I, I didn't really this is the kind of thing that like I wouldn't have tried on my own so it's interesting to see what it's actually like um, because I won the contest I, I was able to get um, it with frame which is neat so that's what this well I might have to break out the knife again but yeah Disco Elysium it's my favorite game I believe at the time of making this video um it is like at least 30 percent off on steam um possibly also on sale at other sites like uh gog and other places it's a really good game if you've never tried it before it can be a little bit crass but it's very thoughtful and part of the reason why it's making a lot of best game of all time lists such as mine but also like IGN recently had an article saying it was like one of the top 10 games of all time part of the reason that a lot of people such as myself agree that this is such a great game is um not just because of the writing but because of the very unique RPG system of um progressing your character through your choices in a way that really feels like it matters. One though, some people, you know, have criticism on how the choices don't really matter with the ending, because the ending is often very similar no matter what you choose. But that neglects that, like, for the journey of getting from the beginning to the end, there's like 200 different paths and so many unique dialogue choices you can choose. I think is reasonable, at least for the first game of this kind, that for this like very innovative interactive storyline game that harkens back to like older uh western rpgs like uh, planescape torment and the original um fallout games that you know given how many choices you can make during the game to build your character that you know you can't accommodate for all that with the ending but now i'm just getting into uh talking about this glazing again which is something i love to do okay so this is I chose, um, instead of a portrait of a character, I chose something of, this caught my eye, was like uh, some concept art, I think, or at least like, this is from, because it's an isometric RPG, so this is like from part of the um, overworld, because you know, you're walking around in isometric overworld style, and um, this is one of the levels, I think this is where, and not levels, it's one of the parts of the world map, I think this is like the path that you take to get to Joyce, um, who has the, uh, the, the yacht, um, and this brings you into the, the hotel areas, but yeah, it's like, this is like, I guess the models, the lower part is like the models before they've been, um, like finished, and then it's partially finished this area, so I think it's pretty cool, it's a little bit abstract, um, I think it's interesting because it's not something that someone would be like, what, you know, oh, is that from a video game, I think it's a little bit like, you know, vague so if you know you know if you don't then you don't know um i like the frame um yeah okay cool obviously this doesn't bend so if i'm moving and stuff it's gonna this is gonna have to go in a box but um overall i'm pretty satisfied so yeah disclosing is my 
favorite game. I'm really happy I got this um, little uh, gift thing. Um, I, it's been this Glizium has been inspiring me to get back into my own writing and like workshopping my own ideas of what kind of games I would make and. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, 10, 20 years from now, people are still talking about Disco Elysium as, like, just being such an important um, game of this period and influencing a lot of um, really interesting games to follow. I'm already I already noticing a lot of games in the pipeline people are, com like, talking about or comparing to or bring into conversation Disco Elysium. So, yeah, it was just really fun to get noticed. <laughs> like, even though it was just by chance, but to get noticed by... Um, like the Disco Elysium, like Facebook page and get this cool gift. So this, the, all thoughts and praise, I just randomly heaped on the game that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I just like the game so much. I'm excited about it that. I was like, yeah, I want to say, like, Hey, check this out. And by the way, play the game if you haven't. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Um, unboxing and destroying with Cassie. Happy new year.